Yes, I've been over the figures several times. I'm quite happy with them. If nothing unexpected happens with the interest rates, we have a go situation. <laughs> well, yes, let's. Bring Lucinda. I'll tell Phoebe. We can meet at the old coach house up at... Uh... Sorry, Lionel. I don't quite know what came over me there. I was... Got your soul, boys! Get torn into this scabby bastard! <laughs> Lionel, yes, we were saying. Ooh. Oh, my God. Speak soon, Lionel. Goodbye! again, is it? Bloody right it is, lady. I'm pure like that, so I am. Don't stand there slinging me the beady like I'm dated. It's all right for you with your laddy da pish. The middle class in you goes all the way down. But you're no having a square go every day with your little stop. It's teeth, lady. Pure minging teeth. Slinging you the beady? Pure minging keek? <laughs> understand. Neither do I, Phoebe. God knows. It's just that every so often the beast rises, I hear the call, and I get homesick. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Freedom! Yabba! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Go and uh, cook any show here. <laughs> Never mind your Italian kitchen, or you can't cook one cook. Just shows a pack of wild beasts staring at a carcass. Well, that kind of covers cuisine for us. <laughs> Honest to God, I tell you, we the wolves up here opening supermarkets. Then spreads in a lot of their magazine showing after layer, you know. Yes, when Fang and I had the cups, we, we decided we simply must have a bigger den. So we bought a B-listed tumble-down layer in the Cotswolds. The local schools are absolutely marvellous. Lots of nice fat children to sink our teeth into and carry home for brunch. <laughs> We, uh, we flight a comic fantasy there to hide my inner restlessness. But you'll, uh, you'll have detected that with your subtle eye for detail. Because, let's face it, there's only so long you can put up with this telly and slippers pish before you start to hear the call. <laughs> Hello? Jamesy, don't tell me. You've heard the call. I'll see you in the pub in ten minutes. Hey, let's see. Boom. Boom, how are you? Oh, 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 oh. What's the occasion? You wouldn't understand. Well, if you can understand, this bar towel's in me a shout, so try me. We'll give you a clue. It's a man's thing. Are you involved? Yup. Then it's a middle-aged drunk man's thing, am I right? Rab, tell him. Hey. Oh, it's a uh, common rap pack. <laughs> Big Barney's annual birthday batch. Only the cream of Scottish drunkenry get invited. Rab's custodian of the invites. Last year I made the rap pack shortlist. I passed on drink capacity and upbeat chirpiness, but I failed on banter. Banter is all important in a rap pack, Andrew. Two buckies, Norrie, and a claw hammer. What's the claw hammer for? You. I take it your feet are nailed to the flare. That's very good, Rab. Let me write that down. <laughs> no! That is the whole point about banter. You don't write it down for... It's supposed to be spontaneous. All right, now. No, I'm no all right. Tintin here, 30-day banter. 
What have I told you about that? You just upset people when you're trying to do a banner. That's why you never get an invite. Why do I never get an invite? There's no postal service on Pluto. <laughs> How'd you go on, Jamesy? Any new blood? Well, there's three heart attacks, two strokes and a hepatitis B. There's plenty of new blood. It's just nanny it's theirs, that's all. Well, if they can't really take the stresses and strains of three days hardcore recreation, they're no bloody good to us, you know. Oh, but me, Rab, give me a chance. I'll give him a break, Nez, but it's only a party. We can't he take him. He's got heart trouble. I don't care if I die. I've died hundreds of times. Ah, but you don't realise the social embarrassment it causes the rest of us every time you croak. Hello, meet Andrew. Don't bother shaking his hand. Just give him a thump in the chest and loosen his clothing. Last time I died, James, he loosened my clothing. Oh, come on, it was a party. There was no birds. <laughs> I am sorry. No can do. As soon as you learn to get through an entire evening without ending up with a label tied to your toe, we will speak again. I don't get it. What's so special about Barney's parties? Barney is a prince among pissheads. The last of a breed. He's witty, he's engaging, he dispenses charm and good humour in equal measure. All in all, he is a consummate and masterly host. For by that, it's your whole guaranteed. Exactly. He's actually got that written in a coat of arms above his door. In Latin. Polium guaranteedium. <laughs> so. Any further questions? Well, in that case, we must away him to our wives. Many teeth to be lied through and much old fanny to be spun. Good day. Rab, I can hemorrhage at will. It's a great party trick. Look, I'll put you on the reserve list, right? Just behind John Knox and Gandhi. <laughs> I'll maybe just have an early night sort of style, you know. Why are you not going out? Uh, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I'll make it to a wee domino night, one of the boys just shoving up in bar head, like, you know. Domino night? Who is it? I, 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 actually, I actually don't think you'd know him. A nice, quiet chap. Uh, Barney Feeney? Barney Feeney? You mean Barney two cocks wake the deed and hump them, Finny? That Barney Finny. Oh, I don't know about that. All I know is he keeps a nice set of spots, you know. Uh, he keeps him doing his trousers by all accounts. Oh, for goodness sake, Mary. <laughs> <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just nick along. Say a quick hello, be back round about uh, Thursday. Oh, uh, the very latest. Uh, depends on the buses, of course. I don't know. Right, that's a bloody selfish attitude. Leaving me here in my own on a Saturday night. Oh, come on, Mary. Let's not get set in our ways. What's the big deal about a Saturday night? It's, it's, it's just like any other night, isn't it? Well, if there's no big deal about it, you stay in well. What? On a Saturday night? <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's no good for, for, for two people in a marriage to spend too much time together. It, it kills the, the subtle magic of the apathy. All right, you just go. I'll stay in and watch the way. Oh, I knew you'd make me feel guilty. Oh, just go. <coughs> right. <laughs> what about Gash and Brady? Oh, they're a wee out enjoying themselves. Remember the way we used to, when we were happy? She was playing a good handy emotional poker there until she played the happy card. Well, I will see her happiness and I will raise her some hot feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel like that, Mary. Maybe under the circumstances it's better that we spend some time apart. Rob! She's good, but as long as I'm around, she's strictly sing best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bye, Mary. Oh, 
All right, then. She had me worried for a minute. How did you get out? Well, it wasn't easy. I had to do 12 rounds with Dr. Gill. I mean, you're one of them, any of these big championship fights is left in us at your age, you know what I'm saying? Mm. How about yourself? Well, I did a terrible thing, Rab. I tell Ella her mother had died, and when she ran in hysterics to phone the hospital, I jumped out the windy. <laughs> I'm not kidding myself. Oh, well, actually, it was a great line she ate it up with chocolate, you know? Well, that's the beast in you, James, isn't it? See, when the beast roars, makes you say some terrible things. Mm. <laughs> but have you thought about what you're going to say when you get back? Yeah, well... I'm not a religious man, Rab. But I'm just hoping we get back that God in his mercy will have wiped out Ella and her family in a wee fatal car crash. <laughs> just save a lot of unpleasantness all around, you know? Deep down, you have got a sentimental state. You know, I try to keep it hidden. I think you should. Let's party. Wait. Oh, yeah. OK, Dino. Now let's party. Hello! Supposed to be going to Barry. I was being metaphoric, you little prick. You see that? See what, see what I'm going to put up with my friends? Is there anyone else? I walk alone by. I walk alone by. What are you doing? Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, which one of you lucky people am I going to embarrass the hell of you by sitting beside you? Could it be you, maybe? Or you? Or what, what about you, eh? We are, we are heat turn studiously looking at the window, eh? I know you're coy little ways, boy. I was sober once too, you know? Well, we'll be right back with a decision after this break. But first, a song. On the bridge of Sit down or you're off the bus. I never fall over. Butter them up, Rob. There's only one bus in here. I must, I must say, driver, you do a very good job under very difficult circumstances. It cannot be easy sitting there looking in your rear view mirror with that turnip lantern there, he'd steal them back at you, you know. All right, pal. Do, do you have to pay extra for your dog? <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. We're, we're Chris. You're, you're really like you work that out with your fully functioning scum detectors, you know? <laughs> we're, at, we're, we're, at, we're actually, we're actually on our way to, 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 to visit some friends, you know, some, some honking alcoholics like ourselves. <laughs> what about you? You look, you look as if you're uh, away to the private head of the year dinner or something. <laughs> leave, leave, leave the bunt Aline, Rob. She doesn't want to talk. I'm sorry, Hen. He's, he's been in a course of these shyness pills, you know, Hen. That's all that garbage. Of course he wants to talk. Everybody wants to talk. It, it just depends who's asking, doesn't it? Yeah, come on, come on. Do not, do not fear our simple native ways. We're postmodern, but we're very, very happy. We sing, we dance, we hunt for chips, we grow tumours. And we die. <laughs> what about yourself? Are you, are you happy yourself? Are you happy yourself? What is the end of the bus that's happy? Hey! Oh, it touched a wee bit of run there, there, a few sprinkles stretching on the velvet there. But I'll tell you, if you're not happy now, you'll never be happy. Because life is about the journey, boy. There is no name on the destination board of life. There's just eternal here and now. 
Aman sih bagi sebagian belas kembolan men air. Oh, hanya hanya wismayo, ini dah wismayo. Kalau nak kerja yang pada lari, ini jadi jadi semua tergugian. As a matter of fact, you did. Where is it you said you were going again? Wahid. Good. Because you're on the wrong bus. Stop the bus! Hey, John Merrick! Stop the bus! Stop the bus! Are you happy new, you bastards that you are? Easy it up! Don't get upset, you'll lose your benefit of the drink! Well, you old boy, it's Scotia. You've come home. When you walk through that door, you'll find a welcome you'll never forget. <laughs> Everybody, I've returned to my wee bit midden in the glen. Chins <laughs> Mary, it's your brilliant accountant cousin from far across the motorway, Shug. Shug. You have returned to Caledonia. Come in, come in, it's nice to see you. Everybody, I return to my wee bit midden in the glen. All right, Shug. Welsh town, four letters. Landudno. Try it, Will. Boys, for God's sake, is that any way to welcome one of your own folk back for some old-fashioned govern hospitality? You're right, Shug. What'll you have? Whatever the boys are having. You don't want to drink with us, Shug. We're second division. Aye. All the normal people have gone away. <laughs> What's up, Shug? Is that a karaoke machine over there? Aye, how? <sighs> Better not. No, I, I had to join Karaoke Anonymous last Christmas. <laughs> Do go on, Andrew. Barney Feeney's birthday bash. We weren't invited because. Uh... <laughs> Hello, Somebody talk bass lending rate to him, for God's sake. Mary Hen! Wild young accountants, you bass! Man up! Shug! Oh, you love Shug, Ella. He's manic depressive like yourself. <laughs> hey, Hen! Any request? Aye. N. Belenor Cohen. How about Hey Macarena? That's near enough. <laughs> Where's the wain? <gasps> Shite! I must have folded her away in there and covered where I was out in my towels. Hey, everybody! Wain hunting party back at Mary's! Let's go! Oh. 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 You're the first to arrive. Oh. Wait here. You'll be that delighted to see us. Oh, there you are, Mrs. Feeney. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he's most looking well for a lady, isn't she? Yeah? No! That's his wife, ma'am. You've just never seen her sober before, that is oh. <laughs> You must have let her do the pigeon law for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> There's something not quite right here, James. I mean, I, I can't even put my finger on it, but... Oh, I mean. <laughs> hey, here he comes. Here comes the birthday boy. <laughs> I just 
Visitors, visitors. It's terrible the way his drunken friends deserted him after his accident. Accident? What accident? You didn't know. The heartbreak of Sinatra's death gave Barney a shock to the brain. I had a shock to the brain. I'm telling him, Barney. <laughs> we had to seek remedial help. I was in the loony bin. But I'm all right now. Any request? Oh, Governor. Give them New York, New York. Coming up. Hold oh, to take the floor. He had ten thousand men. Marked them up to hell and he marched them down the thing. He made some nice new friends at the Twilight Home, eh? What he really misses is his all. Friends. Friends. I'm shaking. I'm shaking all of God's sake. What a shake! Where's that? I've left the carry inside. Let me go back and get it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't get in love for goodness sake. You never, ever go back for a carry. I mean, what, what kind of hell raisers do you think we are? Hey, I, I was never able to hold my belly up in public again if I did something like that. Well, may I point out that the Frank Sinatra of Gyro Valley is currently sitting in a pair of pampers sucking ready break through a straw. <laughs> now, if he can sing Begin the Begin for your high chair without blushing to the cheeks of his talcumed arse, then I'm bloody sure we can nick back in for our own swally bag. Well, if you put it like that. <laughs> Things have changed. The old code has gone. Come on. Oh! Must be some party if they can back in for mayor. <laughs> oh, I, I, I actually haven't had I this much fun since I picked the scab off my TV jag back in 64, you know. What? Is that age 64? Is that a joke or have you just got learning difficulties? <laughs> you you? Don't smart enough to teach you a lesson or two, you prick. Oh, oh. oh no. Okay, pal, you have asked for it. Rap, ha ham! <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't be doing anything like that, did we? I don't know. Because I want to hit him! Yes! yes. <laughs> Jim, to the other bus. Wait a minute. What are you looking for? My teeth. I've got <laughs> my teeth. Here or here? Here. Yeah. And he's here. Grab him. Bloody loser. Let's see to the loser bastards. Let's get it old. New York, New York, Chicago, San Francisco. This is what I'd miss, Della. The old Scots songs. You know that the others, you and I, shug. We are sensitive. Excuse my interrupting, but I wonder, Ella, if you would do me the honour of having the next shag? It's a very tempting offer, Dodie, but sadly it can never be. Why? Because I'm a married man? No, because you're an ugly-looking bastard and I'd rather shag a taboo. No, F off. That's normal people try to talk here. We were saying shag. A bit sensitive. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, the hemorrhage from the ear. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. How'd you get on with Ella? Quite well. Basically, if I was single and someone else, I'd be in with a shout. Keep that as a maiden. And now, epileptic seizure with half twist and pike. Thank you. I'm so in love with you. Now I shout it from the heart. All right, Rab. Fancy I can. 
I'm a man of fact, all of a sudden, I can't be asked. Well, that's not like you. You've been a drunken bastard, I know. How, how the hell do you know which like me? I mean, I don't know which like me. So how the hell do you know which like me, you patronising wank that you are? All right, you're a complex, multi-layered drunken bastard. I apologise. Cos I will tell you this, boy. <laughs> Second thoughts, I'll tell you, bugger off. Bugger off. Aye, surely a mellow moment. <laughs> All right, Jamesy, where's your hat? Consign to history. At this moment, Barney Feeney probably using it as a poke for his Lego bricks. Where's Ella? Well, if we tell you that Shug's used their ass as a doorstop, does that give you a clue? What are you, Jamesy! Welcome here! Hey, Jamesy, look here! Come on, Jamesy! Stupid bitch! Stop shagging my family! Shug was unsullied to you, dipped him! Repeat after me. Life is pitch. <laughs> if you were middle class, it would be called pitch. Luckily, you are scum. Therefore, the pitch is lava hot. You will be skint, battered, exploited, lied to, cheated, and despised. But with any luck, the reason will be bored, eh? Someday, we'll build a house upon a hill. You and I, shiny and you, la 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 la. 